You can tell I'm so comfortable with this right now. <laughs> looking at myself, looking at the camera. All right, well, hey, thanks for joining us again for Happy Hour. This week, uh, we are joined by my wife, Lynn. Hi, everybody. Uh, Lynn is a beach body coach, and uh, she's been working on that business, and I'll let you talk about that a little bit. But first, okay. I'm Nick. I'm from Snap Forward, and we're here every week. And we've been now, Callie, I just realized I've been doing this for three months now. Hmm. Kind of hard to believe. I didn't realize we were doing it that long. Did you? Your live video, the, the, happy, the, the hours? happy hours? No, yeah. I didn't realize it was three months. It's, it's taken off. It's good. Yeah, we'll it's see. good. Well, so introduce yourself. Okay. Hi, everybody. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you, Nick, for, um, for allowing me to be here and for inviting me to come. I'm very honored to be here um, and humbled, of course. Um, I'm not always... Uh, terribly good with being in front of the camera but um, you know I felt like you know I'm talking to my best friend here so it's it's a it's a good thing um, okay. I, don't, don't make me all sensitive here oh okay oh, sorry I, I don't mean to make you sensitive but um, yeah I'm a wife to this lovely man right here I'm a mom to my beautiful boys Nicholas and Ryan and I am um, a stay-at-home mom and a beach body coach so uh, that is my livelihood um, right now, and I'm kind of loving it. Um, get to be home with my boys and get to uh, try and build a business uh, that is uh, slowly growing, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, and that's, that's all I've got, I think, about that. Yeah. Right? That's good. Yeah. That's so good. that's good. Um, so, uh, well, thanks for coming in and talking to us. I know no problem. Callie thought it was a great idea. Um, Callie Thanks, thought you'd Callie. be a lot of fun, so I, I agree with her, and I think I think we're gonna have a good time today. Yay! Um, the first thing we always talk about is what we're having to drink. So you uh, trying to drink and eat clean <laughs> won't drink it's beer. It's true. Uh, I stopped too. You what? I stopped drinking beer too. Did you really? Mm -hmm. It's it's really not good if you're on a diet you really have to make up for the calories yes but however every once in a while it's it's really okay it's just oh so good yes it is so good actually you have two of the best ones I I feel like that are out there in terms of um, IPAs those are my favorite um, I am drinking Tito's with my tried-and-true LaCroix lemon seltzer water because I absolutely love it I fell in love with LaCroix um, I heard a lot of hype about it, and I wanted to try it, and I tried a couple of flavors. Um, some were okay, and <clears throat> lemon has stuck with me. I'm finishing up my sampler pack of Southern Tier, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah. Um, now, I, I'm, I did the Tangier, and I did the, um, the Session, which are both good, but I go back to the old IPA. And, Southern uh, Tier, I miss you. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. You know, like, and then we're trying to we're trying to watch our weight. You're doing an excellent job. I'm doing a mediocre job, and um, you know, it's hard to steer away from the IPA. And to be honest with you, so I've been on Ballast Point. Like I've really yeah. loved Ballast Point. Yeah. Ballast Point for a while, right? But the Southern Tier 2X IPA is really, really. I know. Um, it's staring at me right in the face right now. The 2X, but that's okay. If you're lucky, maybe I'll let you have a sip. Everything in balance, everybody. Okay, that's that's first and foremost. Everything in balance. Um, yeah. So. so the the Southern Tier is coming to Pittsburgh. We've talked about it, I think, in the past. So where are they? What? what are, when are we going to be there? As soon as they open. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's no, oh, there's a brewery coming. Well, they're they're going to be right in between the two stadiums. I think closer to um, Heinz Field. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have a feeling there's an Uber ride in my future. We'll have to go when it opens. That'll mm -hmm. be fun. Are they going to serve food there? I hope so. I, I would assume so. Okay. The New York is really good food. Oh, well. It's the... all very unhealthy. Okay. Oh. Instance, like, and sandwiches and like grilled cheese sandwiches. And It'll have sandwiches. to be a cheat, a cheat day meal. That's okay. Yeah. It looked yeah. good. I didn't have any, but it looked good. Yeah. Well, funny you should mention that because we're taking a trip to Buffalo 
yes. in Niagara sometime in October. Yes. We're gonna, I'm doing a research trip to a Ford dealership. We're gonna check out the falls, take the kids to the falls. We're gonna do a little um, Visiting. trip through the mountains, visit some family. Mm -hmm. So Southern Tier is fairly close. Not quite on the way, but. I have this strange feeling we're gonna be making a pit stop. I, I just have a, a gut instinct. Maybe, just <laughs> maybe, if we can get a babysitter during the weekend from a family member or maybe a friend of a family member and we can take your aunt and your uncle and we go down to the Southern Tier Brewery. We'll have to see. We'll have to check it out. We'll see how far away it is. Yeah, still in the future. So. All right, so we have a couple of things we want to hit that are going on right now and then we're going to get into talking about what you do. Okay. Uh, first things first, the iPhone 7 comes out tomorrow. How excited are you? Not sure. Am I going to get your your hand-me-down? Yes, you are. Okay, so then I'm very excited. I'm so, very excited. <laughs> so my iPhone 7 comes tomorrow, and then you get an upgrade to an iPhone 6. <laughs> All right. Wait, don't I already have an iPhone 6? You have a, oh, I'm sorry. You're going to get a 6S. Oh. oh ooh. Right, right, right. I have, I'm just going to be honest. I have no clue what that means, but I'm guessing it's good. I think the only difference for you is you get 4K video, and you get Force Touch, which means you can, but nobody uses Force Touch. Still not sure what that means. Okay. But okay. So it's an upgrade and it's going to be black instead of white. <clears throat> oh, okay. I can deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. Will it fit this case? Cause you just got Yes, it, it will okay. fit that case. Good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> then I'm excited. I'm so pumped. Cool. It's awesome. it'll, it'll match the case. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, however, uh, so people upgraded to, and this, this, okay. So this is the only technical thing we're going to talk about today. Um, and I'm, I'm always telling people and I always tell my clients, you might not want to be the first one to do an upgrade, whether it's to Windows 10, whether it's to iOS 10, whether it's whatever. Don't be the first one to upgrade. Well, the people that were first to upgrade to iOS 10, a lot of them were bricking their phone, meaning that it was wiped out, gone, and they had to connect it to iTunes to restore it. Thanks. And if they didn't do a backup, they lost everything, right? It sucks. Especially if you figure, like, how many pictures and videos of our kids do we have on our phones? Oh my gosh, on my on my phone alone, I think I have like 11,000 photos. Yeah. So if I don't back up, I'm in a lot of trouble. And I do 4K video, so I have a 128 gig phone and it is full. It is up to the max right now. Yeah. So, you know, if I were to lose everything, and I back up my phone maybe once a month, but if we were to lose everything, it, it can't be backed up to iCloud. There's not enough up there to get it. So, yeah. um I actually think I need to. I, I need you to help me to back it up. I, I'm very bad about backing up my phone. We're gonna back it up when so, we switch you over. See, as soon as so tomorrow, right, so tomorrow. <laughs> when Nick gets his iPhone Seven, I'll be backing up my phone because it's. I don't do it often enough, and I'm very, very guilty of that, and it scares me because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose like valuable. I mean, it is valuable yeah. pictures to me. Oh, absolutely. You know. So. Well, and so everybody's saying hi to you, Jen, Christine. I love Tito's. I know you do, girl. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm so happy you're watching. Hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so, so the, the two things to, to take out of this is, one, you don't necessarily have to be the first one to do an upgrade. However, if you are the first one to do an upgrade, whether it's your phone, your computer, whatever, back it up. And I can, we, there's stuff all over our website about backing up your phone, your computer, your server, everything. You can never back it up too much because... What is a momentary, hey, let's upgrade this, it's cool, we want the new features, can turn into a, holy crap, I just lost everything that I own, or yeah, everything on my phone. Yeah, that would be awful, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, in the end, Apple fixed the issue about an hour later, they re-released the update and it worked fine for everybody, worked fine for me, but I definitely did the update before, or did a backup before I did the update. But no, I don't think everybody, like... I don't think everybody knows to do those things, like especially when there's an update that comes out. Like it, your first instinct, at least mine, mine is not to okay. I better back up my phone before I do this. Yeah, you know? and you don't. You probably don't know that I back up all of our family photos. I have no clue. Right. I, I have no clue. Yeah, right. Mm -mm. But I mean, it's it's just something that, and that's why we talk about it so much, mm -hmm. hoping that maybe one more person hears it because I don't want to get a phone call saying, "Oh my God, we lost everything." I would probably cry. And that's why I, I, I know I'd cry. <laughs> that's why we talk about it so much. Yeah, right. Back up, people. Back, Back it up. up. Back up the bus. Back it up. Right. All right, so uh, the next topic, we're going to talk about social media and social engagement. So Tim and I were talking about it a couple of weeks ago about 
the concept of you know 12 to 1 ratios, talking about what your community wants to talk about compared to just selling all the crap that you might be selling. Whether it's beach body programs or whether it's uh, new cars or whether it's you know come to my website to sign up so we can do it for you. Um, and we have examples of people that have done it well and companies that have done it wrong. Yeah. So the first one wrong is Amtrak. Uh, so a woman tweeted Amtrak on February 14th, guys, I'm trapped in an Amtrak elevator at BWI airport. Help? Amtrak responded, we're sorry to hear that. Are you still in the elevator? But they did it on September 7th, right? Seven months later. She's long gone by that point. Thankfully, they... they some, Even if they had responded five minutes later, what were they going to do? Oh, well, they could, have alert, they could have alerted somebody, right? Hey, uh, security, security or whatever. But seven months later, that's how long it took them to read that? And if you go... So I looked into it, and I looked at the Amtrak Twitter account. It's all them just saying... You know, it's all them promoting themselves. So it's a one-way conversation. It's here's us, here's us, here's us, here's us. There is no listening to what people are talking about. Chances are they're obviously. probably... Obviously. <laughs> obviously. They're, they're not listening. They're obviously not listening, right? And somebody's like, hey, maybe we should check and see what people are saying about us. Right. So oh it's, that, it's that, like, that they were basically, if you, if you read Gary Vaynerchuk's jab, 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 right hook... They were, buck. I know, right? Yeah. So they were only landing right hooks, and mm -hmm. there wasn't a single jab in that whole thing. I don't even know if they were landing any right hooks. They were throwing them, but I don't know if they were landing them. Owie. Owie. Yeah. So on the other side of it is a grocery store, and I'm assuming this is in England, right, Callie? Okay. So a woman writes them, and I'm going to read this, and you can, Callie's going to post a link in the comment section, and you can read the whole exchange. Yeah, I couldn't pull this up for some reason, but anyway, I'm going to listen now. So, the, so she writes, Dear Sainsbury's, and I can't read this with an English accent. I'm sorry, it probably sounds so much better. It's with a sad heart that I write to inform you that your lettuce made me fat. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Ooh, okay. Today, starving, I entered my kitchen to make my lunch. Upon entering the fine lettuce, upon opening this fine lettuce, I noticed someone had already begun eating it. Who, may you ask? Well, it was this little worm. She included a photo. As you can imagine, I was absolutely horrified. My children started crying. My cat started headbutting the wall in shock. I soiled myself. My husband divorced me. It was complete madness. I sat on the floor crying for over an hour until puffy and red I gave in and ate a burger. This was solely because I could not eat the lettuce purchased from you. Due to that burger, I instantly gained 12 stone. What's 12? What's a stone? It must be an equivalent to something. I don't know how, how much it is, but it's like a, like a kilogram. Yeah. Like yeah, I don't. They say like, I'm 10 kilograms. Like the... Can you Google how many pounds is a stone? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. My husband, uh, wait, uh, husband. This is. This is through no fault of my own and entirely due to the wormy lettuce. <laughs> so I'm just not taking, not taking a responsibility. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of establishment allows. 168 pounds? <laughs> 12, 12 stone. Alright, so 12 stone is 168. She gained 168. She's so full. That of one it. burger gave her 168. Yeah. All right. That's, that's a lot well, of she's weight. She's already exaggerating the, uh, whole, the whole thing yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. So, what kind of. Here we go. Sorry, buddy. What kind of establishment allows worms on food that comes from the ground? Do you want me to die? What if I get worms and they eat my insides and my children will be without a mother? This woman is very dramatic. You should be, ashamed, <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. Due to my failure as a person... Oh, she's taking responsibility. Due to my failure as a person, I have now become a fat prostitute. Again, this is solely your fault. I have enclosed a picture of the offending item along with what my dinner should have looked like, if not for the offending worm. Hang your heads in shame, fire all of your staff, close down your business. There is no other way. Sincerely, Layla Daly. 
I have no words. <laughs> so, I mean, it's clearly in jest, right? So you can go, we posted the link, you can go online. There's a picture of her with her worm and her salad. You can go online and read the exchange that she had with the grocery store. Apparently from- So there was just a worm in her in her lettuce? Correct. It's, a, it's an organic, it's lettuce in- Worms live in the ground. Lettuce comes from the ground and they're having to be a worm. She asks for, you know, her, her worm has moved out. It's moved into the playhouse behind our house. Oh, there's a whole story. He's sucking off of our internet and our thing. He needs a Netflix account. They send, like, a Netflix card in the mail to her. And oh, my. And with the gift card for the lettuce refund. Well, it, well it, maybe it, then it works after all. And everybody wants a selfie of it. Exactly. Well, that, that's exactly it. So, look. You have to oh, go above and beyond. Yeah. Well, this kinda. this company turned this into a social media that guy's job has to be really fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. Where he sits there and just is like, all right, who's gonna mess with me? Today? They sent her yeah, yeah. worm a ne ne Netflix gift card, so yeah. it cost them ten or twenty bucks, and they got the world talking, including people over in Pittsburgh. Yeah. About. How about cool, a worm. How cool? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, absolutely. All right. Last thing we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we get into less us, more you. There was a mattress store, and I know you were there for 9-11, right? Yes. I, there's a mattress store in Texas where they did a commercial, and it, I believe it was a TV commercial. It was, yeah. Where they were doing these things in front of the mattresses, and this woman throws her hands back and knocks two guys over, and they knock, off, knock over two towers of mattresses, and she goes, oops, oops. Oh, we'll never forget. I mean, how... Well, she screamed something like, the twin towers of mattresses. Yeah. And, like, they fall on the mattresses. Oh. Uh, it... Tasteless. <laughs> and the girl in it was like, you wanted to punch her in the face. Yeah. She, she was and obnoxious. I, her in the face. I yeah. seriously can't laugh about that. I think no. it's the most tasteless thing you could ever do. And you know what? They mm -hmm. lost their business because of it. Yeah, Rightly so. Well, the the one store is closed, and f apparently, from one thing I read, that was the owner's daughter. Uh, I don't. I, I, I can imagine who died in that, like to my dad's business, and because she just ruined it all for him. Yeah, that's how pretty much. Out of touch are you? Yeah. That you do that, and you think to yourself, "This is okay." Yeah. It, it, there's no words for for that. There's no words for that. And honestly, that's that's. You, you should have lost your business after that. Anyone who's who's normal and who's human would appreciate that. Yeah, and so. I don't know that the, the business closed. I think that one store closed, whether it's permanently or partially. I don't know exactly what happened there. But Bye! <laughs> Sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. I had to do it. I have to, I have to move forward from that. So. All right. So. All right. All right. So about a year ago, you started doing Beachbody. You started with the 21 Day Fix. Yes. It's a it's a program that Autumn Calabrese, um, uh, she teaches it or she... Yeah. She, okay. So yeah, she created it. She it's created a video. It. It's mm -hmm. a, So it's a video. Uh, you uh, do some workouts. You eat according to her meal plan based on containers and there's foods, foods that you are allowed and are not allowed to put in those containers, right? Mm -hmm. And you drink Shakeology. And you drink Shakeology. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing it and you've been doing it pretty much by the book. I would say, I would say if you're not doing it 100% of the time, there are some weeks maybe you did 90% of the time, right? Yeah, I, I'd say that's pretty accurate. So, you know, in the end, you've lost how many pounds total now? Uh, almost 30. Well, I've pretty much maintained, like I've, I've lost about 30 pounds. I've lost um, 30 inches off my whole body and I've been able to maintain that for, well, it's been since like May. I think since May, April. Well, the, or May. the photo that we posted mm -hmm. earlier today was was a, fo a, a photo of you from October, mm -hmm. and then next to you was or next to it was a photo of you from May 2016. I think that's mm -hmm. I think that was your low point in weight. Um, now it just seems to be more about toning, right? It's more about just problem areas and toning and and trying to maintain. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 pretty much uh, where it. Where it goes, I mean, from this point on, I, I think it's mostly uh, maintenance and toning and um, finding definition in areas that we all would like to find. <laughs> 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 More importantly, it's not just about, you know, your 
your inches lost, your weight lost. It's really more about maintaining and, and, um, and living a healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, diet and exercise um, are, hu are huge components of living a healthy lifestyle. And before that, um, we weren't doing that at all. Um, I've, taken, so, I'd, I've well, taken stabs at yes, it. Yes, so. you're right. You're I never, right. I never got fully into it. So I did You're the right. insanity workouts. I did T twenty five, but I had never, I had never really dove in. Right? I, yeah. I, I'd yeah. even done the what's the one the high high protein low carb. Oh, Atkins. I did Atkins for oh, a while. Yeah, we I lost fought, a ton of weight. We tried everything. I lost a ton of weight, but I was never. But it, you know, as soon as you stop, you gain it all back. Right. 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 So you've been doing the the. Uh, you started off with 21 Day Fix. You went to 21 Day Fix Extreme. Mm -hmm. You ate very well. Yeah. Um, we still went out once in a while. In fact, this has probably been our best year of going out to really good restaurants in Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. Because we, there's a lot of good places here, right? Yeah. And we've been enjoying ourselves. But when it when you know your regular days, you're eating well. Yes. So I, I feel like I should explain to people. I should explain to all of you uh, why I even. Um, started all of this um i had tried i mean i i was thin when i was a young girl and i was active as a young girl um but then you know enter high school and i i really let myself go and i wasn't active at all and then you fast forward through high school through college and then even through meeting, um, us meeting and things. And, you know, my, my weight had always been an, an issue for me. And I was always fluctuating up and down. When we got married 11 years ago, I was at my lightest weight, um, where I had done Weight Watchers and I had, I had really prepared for our wedding and stuff. And, 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 you know, it was, um, it was definitely an up and down, uh, battle. And then, um, after we got married and the, the years that followed, um, we've, I went through a lot of ups and downs with my health, with my weight, with with my pregnancies. I mean, I went through a whole slew of, of things. And um, finally, at the end of all of that, a year ago, I was just so sick of, of feeling the way that I felt. I never had any energy. I, I was a new stay-at-home mom. I did not know... Um, what I was going to do with myself, and you know, I, I reached out to my my coach, my coach Nancy Kirby, um, who I was a fellow member of in, in a face in a Facebook group. I had seen her posts, and I I just said, you know what, I need to find out what you're doing because everything that I do is not working right now. And she told me all about the 21 Day Fix and drinking Shakeology, and I was like, well, you know what, I have really have nothing to lose. I may as well try it and see what's going on with it and see if I can succeed at it because I didn't, I certainly didn't succeed with anything else. If, if you, I mean, Nick's been with me for 13, 14 years and he's seen me up and down with, yeah, um, with you know, my we health both and my do. weight. We, we get motivated, we're unmotivated. And then you get demotivated, you know, you just, uh, you know, you fall off the bandwagon and stuff. So I try, I, I you know, I, I purchased the, the 21 day fix challenge pack, you know, uh, which comes with your Shakeology and you, you know, you get your coach and I have my wonderful coach who's guided me this whole time. And, you know, and slowly but surely, um, I'm here. Which is the weirdest thing because really what it boiled down to was a couple of things. The first thing was exercise, 30 minutes a day. That was all it was. Uh, the second thing was, oh, fruit fly. <laughs> the, sec <laughs> <laughs> the second thing was eating clean and eating the right portions of food. So um, with the 21 Day Fix, it basically taught me what to do because I really had no idea what to do. I wasn't cooking well. I barely cooked. This guy did all the cooking. He still does a lot of the cooking, but I, now I do, I take up my, my share of it. Um, so, so exercise, eating clean and, um, um, with portion, portion control, um, um, eating and Shakeology, uh, which is my daily dose of dense nutrition. That's what they call it. I know it sounds so, <laughs> it, does, it, does. it does sound so advertising. 
it sounds like a, I'm an advertisement, but but honestly, it gave me so much energy. And so those three things in combination with like online support and like and my um, my coach's group that helped keep me motivated. Um, that's what helped me. So every day I, pl I pressed play and every day I started feeling better. And then after, and then it becomes like this ripple effect. So eventually, I mean, the first round, uh, so in the 21 day fix, it's, um, it's a three, it's a three week, um, round. And within those three weeks, I lost eight pounds and I lost 10 inches off my body. So I was like, this stuff works, like it's good. So I just kept going and that's all it was. I just kept going and then I kept being consistent with it. Um, and then I needed to challenge myself more. Um, so I started different programs, you know, uh, I, I've done 21 Day Fix, I've done 21 Day Fix Extreme, I've done 22 Minute Hardcore, which is badass, sorry guys. It is, it's really great. Um, and I and currently, and then I've, go, I've gone back and forth. Like I've done, um, I went back to uh, 21 Day Fix, and then currently I'm doing Mac, uh, Insanity Max 30, which is the hardest program I've ever done in my life. But it's fun for some reason. So fun, it's so yeah. challenging, it's so hard, like I've never, I've never done anything like this in my life, so and it's it's amazing. Um, but that is that's what brought me to where I am now. So minus thirty pounds, minus um, thirty inches off my body, a little bit of muscle, yeah, a little bit of muscle, a little bit, a, a lot of confidence, a lot of feeling good about yourself and that's really the most important thing. Like, is, is that you want to feel good about yourself? You want to have this like great sense of um, self and like self-esteem like you just feel really good I don't know that's how I feel well and, and feel. it you know it's it's that's I think the biggest difference so there's two major things that I can point to that have changed one is your feeling of how comfortable you are with yourself right mm -hmm. I mean you went from a size Oh gosh, do we have to discuss size? Well, um, okay, well, I, I don't love discussing size, but but I will discuss size because because um, you're asking me to. So um, I went from a size eight to a size zero in the last. Well, it's been eleven months now. So right, and a lot. I mean, I mean, a size zero is not an easy size to attain. No, I'm assuming. never, I, I, never in my life did I ever think that. But it really, again, like it doesn't boil. Okay, it, but no, but my point, I'm sorry. I, I, it's, it's okay. Interrupt. It's okay. My, my point is, <laughs> is that you've, you've, you've basically attained at, at 40, one. <laughs> it, Being real here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at 41, you've attained a level of fitness in, 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 you know, a, a sense of you know, like you, you've you've attained a place that you have not previous. Maybe ever. Ever. Maybe ever. Right. And and I have to be honest with you. I tell people this all the time. I feel better at forty one than I did at twenty five, um, or twenty six. Even I, 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 this is the best I've ever felt um, in my life. And it really just boils down to um, being consistent with with what you do, um, uh, pressing play every day and being consistent with your eating habits and being consistent with drinking Shakeology. I mean, that these are the things that worked for me. And that is sort of why I decided, it's definitely why I decided to become a coach because I felt like I could pay it forward to people and help them learn um, about, about healthy living and, and, well, and just, you know. And I think a lot of people try to cut corners. Maybe they don't do the Shakeology or they don't follow the meal plan or they don't do the exercises every day. I'm probably a good example of that person. So <laughs> I drink Shakeology five out of seven days. I work out 60 to 80 percent of the time. I don't always follow the meal plan like tonight I'm going out with somebody and I'm not going to eat very clean. No, I feel good. Yeah, cheat, cheat meal. I feel good. Um, probably in the best cardio shape I've ever been in. Well, that I've been in in the past 15 years. Yeah. But I still have a significant layer of fat that I deal with every day. I think we all do. <laughs> we all do. I'm, I am. I am. I am ripped underneath all of this. So, but you know, <laughs> the bottom line is, I mean, if you. You know, if you want to get better, you can follow the plan to a certain point. But if you want to get to where you are, you follow it 90% of the time. 
Yes, and, and and I also like to tell people that like really the, living the living the eighty twenty rule is 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 important um, to a lot of people because you know you don't want to deprive yourself and I certainly don't <laughs> I certainly don't deprive myself I eat the things uh, that I I eat food for fuel and I understand that concept right now. And I, I'm always going to understand it because, um, it, like I said, the, 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 these program, the Beachbody programs, have taught me how to eat in a way that fuels my body and fills me up, and I, I get this sense of um, I just feel really, really good. And I obviously, like, I know that when I don't eat something good, it affects me almost right away. Yeah. So you know, um, but but you can't deprive yourself of the things that you love, you know? And obviously on this plan, you can do things and you can eat and drink things that are, are, are okay, you know, that are fix approved, you know, um, so to speak. And when you live that 80-20 rule, which means like 80% of the time you're following the nutrition plan and you're doing your exercise and dieting and thing, or exercising and stuff, um, and the 20% you're, you're living life, you know, like you're having your drink, you know, my Tito's, or you're having your glass of wine, or you're having your cheat meal, um, you, can't, you can't deprive yourself of the things and deprive yourself of that, those things because that will set you up for failure, um, in my opinion. So, you know, you do the things you need to do most of the time. For me, I felt like if I, if I didn't follow the plan 90% of the time or 95% of the time, or if I didn't follow it like to a T, I was really afraid that like I, I um, was going to fail, which obviously that took me a really long time to, to understand that I wasn't failing, like I was living, you know? Well, <laughs> so. but at the same time, I think that feeling motivated you just a little bit, and that goes to my second sure. point. So if the first point is that it gave you, so as far as it, how it affected our relationship in a way, it gave you confidence. It gave sure. you self-esteem. That you, you know, you, 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 you know, I mean, you still, you, you were confident, but like this kind of takes it to another level, right? But then oh, on the yeah, other side yeah. of it is that for me, while I was never, never dissatisfied with you, and I was, I, you know, I loved you. Just yeah, not, that's not true. But, <laughs> but now, I mean, honest to God, I, I, I remember at one point this summer, early in the summer, watching you walk around the pool towards me and the boys. Here's where I'm gonna hide under the table. Well, <laughs> and thinking to myself, oh my God, she looks yeah. good, right? I mean, it's like, the, so, I mean, like the, you. your legs, You've never, I don't, I've never known you to have legs that look like what you have right Thank now. Thank you very much. It's a, a so, but it's, a, so it's, it's my, my like the, so the, like that's my, like what I'm seeing and then what you're feeling, it's, it has a positive effect on not only you as a person, but our relationship and, and everything that carries on from it. Right. And I have to say, like, um, to, to his point, you know, it's hard to explain, but I, I think that, um, and those when guns. you when Wait, you begin, and Aunt Joanne said, "And those he's guns." He's not gonna let me finish talking. <laughs> you gotta show the guns. Do they have a gun show? Uh, no, honestly, honestly, it really is more about a mindset at this point, point. Um, and I think it becomes a mindset when you've decided when you've decided to make a decision to change your life and and make a decision to get healthy and fit. Um, for me, it, it was that very decision. I mean, I, I never in a, in a million years expected that this is the way I was going to look and that I was going to become a beach body coach. And I had no idea that this was going to happen. All I knew was that I, I wanted to change something for myself. And that was enough motivation for me to keep going, you know, and then of course, you know, like the compliments and like, just, just like, like putting yourself out there and be and, and you know being vulnerable to um, social media and like all this thing because my business is on social media. Would you mainly. have done? Would you have done this a um, year ago? I probably would not have done this a year ago, you know. And if I didn't have the pushes of my of my fabulous coach and my husband and my family to like push forward and, and do what I was do what I'm doing right now, I, I don't. If I didn't have that, I don't know that I would be where I am now, you know? So honestly, it, it, it really is a mindset. It's a motivation. This has become a way of life. This is my, you know, the clean eating is, is my lifestyle. Um, the exercising is my lifestyle. I feel like I can't live without it now. Um, and that may sound really extreme, but that's not, that's not what I'm saying. I, I think it just means that I, I love the products. I love what it's done for me. I love what it's done for my family. It's, it's teaching my family how to eat 
well, um, you know, um, I don't know. I just have a, I just have a, I have a soft spot for, for what I'm doing right now. So that's it. You know? So you talked about your results and yeah. you actually have someone that just sent you her results today. You don't have to say her name. I do. I have somebody, um, a, a friend of mine um, who is... Out in California, right? Yes, out in California, who has just... Uh, I've, I've become her coach, and you know she reached out to me today and told me her results just from three weeks of doing the 21-day fix, and she's lost um, six pounds and 11 inches, total inches off her body in three weeks. And I, I just couldn't be more proud of this person. And, and to be honest with you, this is what, these are the reasons why I've become a coach because it, it is just so fulfilling to see somebody else reach their goals or head towards reaching their goals. And for, and the fact that like, um, I mean, I don't know how to say this without getting like emotional, but like the, 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 being able to help somebody to do that is is just is, is incredibly exciting to me. It's incredibly humbling. Like um, it it proves that like that these things work. Like and if you just like put your mind to it and you and you know I have to say I also have to preface this by saying that none of this is easy. Like making changes in your life is not easy. Um, it's still not easy for me. Like I still have to wake up and do what I do every day, and um, eat, you know, and and it make healthy choices sucks. every day. Some mornings it sucks. <laughs> I can't get up in the morning. But I, and I'm going off on a tangent. But really, what it, what I'm saying is, you know, it, it's not an easy thing to do. But it does become something that's part of your life. So when when you know when customers come to me or when when people who I've coached come to me and say, look, I've done this and this is really really great and I love it and and I'm I'm happier or you know whatever the case is that drives me more to do what I what I do that's what I do that's what I want to do um, for other people because I know what worked for me I, I I believe in the products and I I I'm a product of the product you know so it, it just makes me really happy so congratulations to you guys and yeah so long story yeah. short um, congratulations <laughs> The person who shall not be yes, named. Yes, I cannot. I shall not name. I shall not name. So, um, so. so uh, Tracy yes. asked, what should you be eating? Okay, so if you want to know um, what, essentially what clean eating is, um, it, it, it basically boils down to um, health, right? So it, it's, it's your fresh fruits, your fresh vegetables. It is your lean meats, your fish, your proteins, uh, lean. Um, nothing processed, um, your healthy fats like avocados and nuts, you know, almonds and things like that, um, um, which is a really big downfall of mine. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I can't help what do you it. Mean? Well, because, you know, you're only, you can have the healthy fats, but you can't, you Just really shouldn't overboard. have like two, you don't go overboard, but this mama goes overboard because I, I, I just can't stop with them. So anyway, so just, you know, your healthy fats, like your, your whole grains, um, things that are just not very, very, very minimally processed or not processed at all, like things that come from the earth, you know, like that kind of stuff. So um, that is your general um, idea of what clean eating is. But what Beachbody has done, Beachbody has basically taken all of the guesswork out for you and they've, they've given you um, when you when you purchase a beach body program like you they've given you your exercise regimen they've given you um, a, a food plan and a food guide for um, you know um, so portion is, is is a big part of that and you know and drinking Shakeology I, I'm not gonna I, I can't stress it enough I just love it I love it that much it's got all your superfoods in it it's got everything that that you could ever well, possibly I think, want I so. think that and portions, I mean, you can eat much more than you think you can if you eat the right mm. things. For me, right. you know, it's, it's staying away from sugar, staying away from baked goods, and staying away from fried food. I think if you do those three things, which I don't do successfully very well. Right. It's not easy. I mean, it's not. But I think, so. you know, you can buy the Fix 8 cook, cookbooks they have. Yes. You have your Strive and Alive fitness group. Yes, I do have an accountability group that I that I run on Facebook. So it's, it's private. Absolutely so. free. It's private. People can join it and 
and um, see what other people are doing as far as fitness and eating. Yes. Uh, you're also doing a casserole group right now where you're yes, doing- Yes, a five day free, um, free, a free five day um, clean eating casserole group that's ending on Saturday or Sunday. So you, you have you have different casserole recipes on there. You're going to yeah. be posting things on your website. Yes, I do have a website. I finally have a website, and thanks to this gentleman right here, it's, I do have a website. It's early. We're working on it's it. It's in the early stages. Yes, I. I um, so if you know anything about me, and I know a lot of you do, um, I am very um, hesitant to change. So, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. <laughs> so um, when the idea of even having like a website and a blog um, came about, thanks to my fantastic husband, um, I was very nervous about it. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a good writer. I don't know how to do all these kind of things. But um, I do have a website. It's um, lynnboris.com. Uh, I don't even know my own website. Gosh. So it's lynnboris.com and um, it'll, it's, a blog, it's a blog and um, I will be adding things to it as we go along, but it's definitely in its initial stages right now. But I definitely, I post on Facebook, I have my own um, business page, I post on Instagram, but I, I'm not really good at that yet. I have to learn a little bit about it before uh, in terms of like the business, um, how to work that out. Um, and I talk to lots of people. I'm in lots of groups and, you know, that kind of thing. But, but you know, I, I'm, I'm still very, very new uh, with this. So, you know, I'm still getting my feet wet. Uh, business wise, but you know, at the heart of it, at the heart of it, it really is to help, to help people and help people achieve their goals. Well, and I think, um, so, I mean, today we spent a lot of time talking about the program itself and, and what you've done. I think, you know, we, we want to talk about really what you've done as far as marketing yourself and marketing mm -hmm. the business and the, the struggles you've had and what's worked and what's not worked. Yeah. And there's things that Beachbody wants you to do and there's things that you're comfortable with and not comfortable with. Yeah. So what I think we may have to do, given how much where we are right now on time, is probably have, you, have to have you back next week. <gasps> oh, my. Okay. I can come back next week, I think. Yeah? Sure. What Why do you think? Not? I think you've never gotten this many comments before. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're saving some things for next week, but so yeah, look at, look at all of the things we have to say for next week. There's a lot to say for next week. So, but I can I just add um, just one um, one thing. I do want to talk about what the hard uh, what a hard part is about about doing what I do sure. right now. Um, and before this all before this all aired, you know, I, that was the one question that Nick had for me that. I wasn't sure how to answer. It was the hardest part about being a coach. Like I, I, I told you why um, I, I've decided to do this because I, I really just want to pay it forward to other people. This is just an, an amazing experience and it's an amazing company. I absolutely love it. Um, but there are struggles, you know, and it's hard. Um, and I, I told Nick before we started that the biggest thing is the, the very thing that motivates me to become a coach or to be a coach is the very thing that, that I struggle with because you have to show up, you show up every day, no matter what, you show up every day. And um, there are some days where it's hard for me to show up. You know, you don't, when you run a business, when you're running a business, you, you show up every single day. And that's, um, that's not easy. It's a very challenging thing to do. And um, it's it's a blessing and a curse, you know, because it, uh, in one hand, you know, the thing this is this is so motivating to me, and I, I show up every day, and I work out every day, and I eat clean every day, and it's wonderful. Um, but it's the hardest part about being in a, this business, you know, because you have to be vulnerable and you have to put yourself out there in ways that I am not always comfortable with, you know, um, so that that's a challenge. But, you know, I still I still embrace the challenge and, you know, it's not something that I'll, I'll really give up anytime, anytime soon. So ironically, yeah. uh, as you say that I'm not comfortable with whatever uh, you've seemed incredibly comfortable with. That's my LaCroix. <laughs> is, it, is it the LaCroix or is it the Tito's? <laughs> Maybe it's the Tito's a little bit, but, but uh, you know, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, stop it. She's talking about what she likes to talk about. I know, right? See, but that, but exactly, Callie, that's a perfect, a perfect point. Like, this, this is, is stuff I could talk about um, ad nauseum, so. This know. is the least amount of time that I've talked in any happy hour. <laughs> 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 Callie's like, thank God. <laughs> I don't have to edit the video. I just listen to mostly lit. Ah, see. Oh, come on! You oh. love editing me. Oh, well, I, I really, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Obviously, and I'm very happy honored. to have you. I'm honored, my man, and um, you know, I guess I'll see you next week. I don't, I guess. Yeah. I'll be bringing Tito's again, so it's all good. And I'm gonna have to find another beer. I don't know. We're, I'm out of the IPA sampler or the ah. Southern Tier sampler. I'm gonna have to find something else. Wow. I don't, you know what they do. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So, get, try Hitchhiker. Oh. Like on, yeah. Way, I've not been there yet. I haven't been there either. I know. I heard it's good though. Mm -hmm. I, did. I actually, so Pumpkin is out now, right? <gasps> but I don't, I'm not a pumpkin beer fan. So I might try Southern Tier if you happen to see this. Super hipster, like craft brew from the, that with a cool label that you've never heard of. That's what I like to pick. You Can you find me one? Yeah. Find me, find me like a hipster craft something that nobody ever has heard of, or that only the cool. Going to like a big beer section, like a big beer area, like a not like a little store. Yeah, right. And then you go in like the section of all the craft beers, and then you just pick out one that looks pretty, and then you're. There you go. That's but a good strategy. Also a good flavor because I don't like IPAs, so I wouldn't pick one. But like find me. Do me a favor. Can you do me a favor? Can you find me the. Like, cause if I do it, I'll go along what I what I'm comfortable with. But if you take me out of my box, find me an IPA from some place that I've not heard of. That you, if you can find, that would be different. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> well, so and you're you're gonna do Tito's. You're gonna do Tito's and lime. My Lacroix, of course. Nice. All right. Cool. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, hey, thanks for joining us again this week. Um, we'll be posting it uh, on our website next week. We're going to do the blog. I don't know how I'm, I don't, I don't think I can type enough for as much as you talk. I know, it's, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. I know, I talk a lot. <laughs> That's where my kids get it from. Yes. Um, so, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And we'll catch you next week. All right, bye.